When most people use the term geography, they are typically referring to the field of physical geography, the study of features and the natural environment. How large is that glacier? And how high are those cliffs? Another piece of geography is human geography, which is the study of people and their relationship to their physical surroundings. Because human geography involves human interaction with their environment, it can include political boundaries and political processes. For instance, the nation of Burundi recently moved its capital, and the nation of Swaziland officially changed its name. It can also include compositional characteristics like population density or cultural components like regional language use. Study and health conditions is another aspect of human geography. In fact, tracking the spread of an epidemic was one of the earliest examples of geography being used for more than just map making. In 1854, London was in the midst of a cholera outbreak that would ultimately kill 10,000 people in the city. When Dr. John Snow began plotting infection sites on a map, he noticed a cluster around a particular city water pump. That pump's water had become contaminated, and new cholera cases immediately declined after the pump was disabled. Understanding human interaction with their environment helped Dr. Snow in London, but he couldn't have made that connection without a map. In 2014, when Ebola broke out in West Africa, the maps of the area were outdated and unreliable. So human geographers from NGA got to work standardizing names, improving accuracy, and adding features to the geographic names database. Something as simple as a name can tell a skilled human geographer the language, ethnicity, and even religion of a village. And including details about population centers, medical capabilities, and cultural practices enabled NGA to assist aid workers in combating the spread of the disease. By studying human geography, NGA will be able to help track displaced populations after natural disasters, analyze cultural changes in demography, study global standards of living, and better understand all the people of our world.